and welcome to the second set of skills that we're going to start to look at, which are physical skills. So where the technical skills were about the way that you choreograph something and develop it to make it really interesting, physical skills is looking at your own body, your own physicality and what you were able to do. So these include things such as alignment, posture, balance, coordination, stamina, strength, all the things that you can work on personally to ensure that when you perform, you can get the highest grade possible based on your physical skills. So I'm gonna break them down into four different videos and we're gonna to start today with posture, alignment and balance. So these are all focusing on the way that your body is structured and able to hold itself, which is one of the safe dance practices to avoid injury, but also it's very aesthetic to look at, which means it's very like um, pleasing, everything is where it should be placed properly and is really good for giving them extra marks into your dance assessments. So the first thing we're gonna look at is alignment, which is the correct placement of body parts in relation to each other. So that is basically, in the word alignment, you've got the word line. So you just think about how you can put your body into straight lines. So in contemporary, we normally start in a parallel position, which means our feet are facing forwards, or we're not inverted like this, or in a first loose position like this, we are completely parallel, our hips are facing forwards. If we bent our knees, they would equally go over our toes. And we have to ensure that we are tucked in here, we are tensing our stomach, and we are completely aligned. So if we do a plie forwards, we should have our knees over our toes equally, same as if we were going to the sides we would stay in an aligned position. This is really important for injury prevention because if you imagine if you were inverted and you did something like that, you could really hurt yourself, hurt your muscles or your joints. So being aligned with your body is incredibly important and it looks so much better as well. So alignment doesn't just happen in parallel, it can also be in first position. So in first position, that is a typically ballet position, but it is used in contemporary and other dance styles as well. That is where if you put your heels together, or you put your feet together first actually, and then naturally just see where they open without causing any pain to yourself, you're not forcing your knees, you're just here and opening, seeing where is a natural place for your turnout to go. With that, when you take a plie, which is your bend in your knee, your knees should be moving at exactly the same times, and again, it should be going over your toes. So you should be able to really tense your legs, tense your inner thighs, tense your hamstrings if you can, and you're keeping yourself symmetrical and aligned. So this is the same if we go into jumps. When we jump, we're going to lift, and bend our knees and try to stay as aligned as possible. Give a go some jumps in parallel and in first. So the second one we're gonna look at is posture, which is incredibly similar to alignment, but it's about how the body is held. So we're gonna use the same way of starting with our feet in parallel, hip width apart, and we're going to ensure that our body is stacked evenly so imagine like you're made of different bricks. So say that your feet are one, your knees one, each part of you is a brick and you're gonna try and get them all so they're perfectly aligned for perfect posture. So with posture, again in contemporary, we start in our parallel. We have to ensure that our hips are tucked in, not sticking out. Um, try and tense your stomach just because it helps you to have a stronger core and to not be swaying around. Keep your shoulders down, tense your muscles, keep your chin lifted and have your arms by your side or they can be just in front of you. The idea was to have symmetry throughout the whole body and I remember being taught that you have to imagine that you've got a line going from your feet into the centre of the earth and from your head up into the sky. So imagine you're being stretched in a perfect line. So you see me from here. I try and keep that alignment. I always have a bad habit of like swaying forwards or slouching to the back, so try and make sure that you are upright, which is the perfect way to start your dance and to show your good posture. So this is not 
a passive posture where you're just being still. This is where you're actually active, your muscles are tensed and they're ready to begin whatever is asked of them. So this is really easy to do by standing still, but how can we ensure that we've got good posture while we are dancing? So ballerinas are amazing at this because they are trained through different positions and technique, but sometimes in contemporary we can forget that we are still meant to be showing good posture for our safety and for the aesthetic view of the audience. So for example, if we try this task, you're gonna raise one leg, try to do this without your foot inverting, which mine does sometimes, Try to keep it in parallel, and now go forwards, and try to not let your knee go in or bend. Try to keep it nice and straight. Keep your weight spread amongst your feet. So again, sometimes that you can put your weight to like the front of your toes or to your heels. Try to spread it across the whole surface of your foot. So we raise, we open, go forwards, and keep them legs nice and straight. Same as your body, if I'm gonna bend my knee now, it wants to wobble, but you can't let it. You need to ensure that the weight is straight, your arms are in front of you, you are keeping tensed, and that is your posture is held perfectly, you're still aligned, you're still staying safe, which leads me on to balance. So balance is a steady or held position achieved by an even distribution of weight. So as I said, if you have your weight all over the place and there's no centre, you might have it on the front of your feet or your heel, it's very difficult to balance. Whereas if you are spreading it, spread your toes, plant your toes into the ground, same as your heel, it's much easier to stay balanced. Again, this takes strength in your legs and in your core. If you have a strong core, then it's much easier for you because that's kind of the centre of your body. But try to ensure that you are distributing your weight evenly, so it's much, much, much easier to balance. Make sure you're staying aligned. So I'm going to give you an activity now that's going to combine your posture, your alignment and your balance to see if you're able to do this. It's going to be impossible to do this without warming up, so ensure that you've done some exercise, cardio exercise to get blood flow around your body and ensure you've got blood to your muscles which have been stretched so it's going to be much easier because you're going to be using your hamstrings and your quads. So once you've done that we're going to get into a first position again with this lovely posture we're going to be feet nice and tall shoulders down we're going to do open the arms here we're going to do some ton juice to the side three we're going to do what's called a rond de jean where this leg is going to extend while this leg is going to bend. So you're here, and that pulling away, that extension is going to pull it up into a balance. See if you can stay there. Okay, hold it. Now you're going to bring it back in, try on the other side. And one, two, three, other side. Oh, see that was terrible. I'm like on the edge of my foot because I'm not distributing my weight properly. I'm going to try that again. So I'm going to go one, two, three, planting my toes. Gosh, one, two, three. Reach out and out. Okay, and keep it balanced. One, two, three. Bring it in. Rise. See if you can hold still. Make sure that you've got your weight evenly between the balls of your toes. If you've got bad posture, you'll be like overbalancing. So if you're in a nice straight line, you'll be fine. See if you can stand on one leg. Very difficult. Up again. See if you stand on the other leg. Okay. See if you can stand. Test yourself. See where your weight is able to be without you shaking. Okay, so this is where your posture, your alignment and your balance are gonna show who has really got it. Your task from today's lesson is firstly, to show me how you stand for perfect posture and alignment. So this can either be a picture or it can be something that you have drawn of a stick man, but either way, you need to show me exactly what it takes to have perfect posture and alignment for your dance. The second thing I want you to do is to balance on one leg without any other supports 
and see how long you can balance. So for a simple challenge, you can stand on one leg and just raise your knee. For a more difficult challenge, you can practice by distributing your weight separately from your body. So by that, I mean, if you wanted to like lean forwards or lean away, if you wanted to be more challenging, if you wanted to keep it really simple, then just keep that alignment and that posture because it is much easier. But either way, show me your entries and we'll see who's able to hold the most interesting pose or who is able to hold it for the longest. Good luck and I will see you soon.